Hey guys, Cleo81, how is everybody today? Figure we will get on to installing this graphics card today. Because, you know, why not? So here is the epic box. Yeah. Um. Now, I did take the liberty, of course, of opening the box, making sure everything was where it should be, etc., etc. Um, we have all of our your manuals, your firmware, and of course your drivers and throwing stuff. <laughs> all right. So the very first sticker we come to it says stop, and it tells you to plug the card into the power on the motherboard. Cause you know that that goes without saying. I think. Apparently somebody didn't know that. Somebody bought, like, a graphics card, I guess, and just expected it to, like, work or something. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Sorry for the extreme close-up there. You're in the bubble wrap. This card is huge and real heavy, so I'm going to pull this out of the packaging real fast. Here she is. She gorgeous, huh? All right, so in order to install this properly, first off, these are the pins that connect it to the motherboard. Uh, PCIe 16, I believe, is the connection, is what it's called. I'm just going to gently set this back in here. This is on stable flat surface, so it looks a little wobbly, but the motherboard box is under there. Um, oh, just for reference, so everybody knows, I am grounded to the computer ground before playing with electronic e parts yay all right so in order to install this graphics card um you read the manual figure out where your primary graphics card slot is it should the the manual should tell you so read my manual i'm dropping things <laughs> Read my manual. Um, this is the primary graphics card slot. Uh, I'm a little worried that this board is really, or this uh, card is really big, so I'm worried about these. So, secondary is this one here, is also a 16. And these other two slots are designed so that you can dual raid graphics cards, which this one will support up to three graphics cards rated. Might be a little overkill for this build. <laughs> but hey, you never know. It's always good to have a motherboard with the compatibility. Again, always just check when you're researching. They, they'll proudly boast about what, can, what they can raid and what they can't. So. Alright. I do have a couple of errant loose wires here. But... Let's get this baby installed. So I'm uh, gonna have to finagle the phone so you guys can get a view. All right, we're back. So to start, what you want to do is the these things right here are the back ports on the back of the PC. Um, basically, they're just cover plates. And when you go to install, you have to remove the cover plate you're going to use. Pretty straightforward. There's a screw right here. There we go. I apologize for all the bad camera work, but boy. Just one hand. Still haven't been able to get my hands on a webcam. Oh, there we go. I'm using a magnetic screwdriver tip for this. It makes it easier to keep screws from falling on the motherboard. Alright. And then this will just slide right out. Just like that. Um, this particular motherboard, or er, this particular graphics card is two slots. Um, really, you can just kind of tell by looking how many slots it's going to be. But if you have to, if you have to guess, 
if there's only one layer of ports, it's probably only going to be one th one thick. Ooh, see, dropping screws. Um, but if there are two layers of ports, it's going to be two of these thick. Um, just so you can see, there is a metal bar that separates these two. So important to know. All right, let's get this set up so I can plug this card in. Um, just so you, this here, just thought I'd bring some attention to this, but this is a switch. Um, or a switch. A lever. Make sure it's dep uh, depressed so that the, the slot is ready to receive the card. Because if it's clicked up like that, that, that's closed. Okay? Alright, I'll bring it back in a second. Alright, here we go. Um, took me a second to orient myself just to make sure the uh, top of this beauty, where you took those plates off, there's a little ledge right here on top. And when you look at your graphics card, there's a little ledge. Um, so it'll make it really kind of easy. So it should just snap right in here, I hope. snap in here nice. Oh. Well, that's interesting. All right. Oh. Apparently, I need to take off another, another uh, bracket. Well, these things are easy to get on and off. I apparently misaligned my brackets, which can happen. Um, but I am seeing this card should actually fit pretty well under those fins. The chipset is put really nicely right along here, and then the bulk of the motherboard is down. Interesting to see how that affects this. So that is Huh, what is that? That's why it's important to keep your manuals handy, guys. In every manual there is a basically a there it is. Uh, a guide as to what every individual port is on the board. Uh, okay, that's a PCI Express slot, not worried. Just making sure I wasn't going to block anything too, too vital. I do have a second one on this board if I need it, but nothing too crazy. Alright. Um, I'm gonna peel the plastic wrap off of this. I hate to get fingerprints on it, but at the same time, I don't really want to have plastic wrap all over everything. Trying to pull plastic wrap out from out from under something does not sound like way I do a fun time. So, while I'm pulling peeling plastic wrap off, I just want to thank all of my subscribers thus far. You guys are awesome. All the likes, comments. I have received have been amazing. Uh, I also want to apologize with how long it's taking me to get videos up. For some odd reason, actually it's not very odd, but my internet is slow. Like really, really, really slow. So it takes me a couple of days to upload a 30 minute video. Days. It's kind of crazy. Alright, let's try this again. So, trying to get content to you as fast as I can. Here we
you have concerns about that, I'm going to have to actually walk around and try and do this from the other side. I can do it here. Let's see what I'm doing wrong. Probably everything. Trying to get this lined up is a little tricky. Okay, there we go. Alright, once you got it lined up, you should just be able to put a little bit of pressure on there. You can see it's in there. Uh, always remember when dealing with computer components, you don't ever push too hard. But a little bit of pressure, you heard it go click. Um, this little knobby, their lever guy, he snaps into place. All right, and that is it. That is the installation of the graphics card. Um, I'm going to take the screws. Oops, there's a little light there. I'm going to take the screws that were originally holding these back plates on and screw in this graphics card in the same exact spots even. So nice and easy. I'll come back when I got that done. All right, guys. So I've run into a problem. <laughs> Promised I would show you all of the nitty gritty. Um, I don't know if you can see too well, but these screw holes aren't lining up right. They're close, but with a screw, close doesn't mean anything. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can just see right there. Um, uh-huh. I'm hesitant to push on it too much because I don't want to break anything. Oh, oh, there we go. Alright, so what I did was I just applied a little bit of force on the back. Just a little bit of lifting force because this is such a big card. I imagine it's kind of heavy. When you run into these problems, Google is always a good place to go. I read a few suggestions. Um glad that one was simple but just remember when you're trying to put this stuff in don't force anything you may lightly have to apply even pressure but don't ever force anything you'll break it all right well anyway I would I thought I'd bring you back and show you this little trouble spot uh, doing a quick search if you do run into this problem when installing your own graphics card and what I did with the just slightly elevating the back of the card doesn't work uh, I did read a couple of other suggestions, things like uh, you can loosen the motherboard. Don't take the screws out, but just just a little bit, you know, take this card out, uh, which is easy to do. You just literally push this down, pull up evenly on both sides, and it'll pop right out. If it's a little snug, just give it a little bit of a jiggle back and forth, it'll pop right up. But... <clears throat> um, yeah, what you do, what you'll do is you loosen. Don't don't take out the screws, but loosen the screws in the motherboard a little bit. Then put this card back in, and make sure that you can line up the holes. Um, and after, as, as soon as you've kind of maneuvered it so that it does tighten down a couple of screws, so the motherboard can't move again, and then tighten, um, then pull this out. Tighten all the screws, put this back in, and then attach it. Um, always be aware that sometimes there are defects. Sometimes it is just the case, and the motherboard configuration it shouldn't be an issue. But there was so many parts out there and so many varying builds, it is possible that you just have something that's not compatible. Fortunately, this one is. All right, well, I'm going to get those screws in there, and I'll be right back. All right, there you go, guys. It is in there. Yeah, attached. Graphics card is really the easiest part of this build, to be honest. You can see, there are all my ports. They've all got little cute protectors on them. But this should be DVI. Yep. DVI, HDMI. Cool. Alright guys, thank you for watching. This has been Cleo81.
<sighs> there we go. Yep, thank you for watching, guys. This has been Cleo81. You guys all have a wonderful day and a happy holiday season. Laters.